CEO Ron for creating a difference. I want to talk to you a little bit about this sample pad that we got here. It says 5,000 grit. We actually call it P5000D. We had a 3,000 grit finish put on this bowling ball initially. Now we're going to use the P5000D, which stands for P for polishing. 5,000 is the grit it's going to leave on the bowling ball, and D is dual grit. You can tell there's immediately there's a difference between 1,500, 3,000, and now the new P5000D. Go ahead, Abe. We're going to go ahead and show them how to use this pad. Here's the key here. If you want to get the 5,000 finished like we're talking about, it's real simple. You just go through the exact same process that you would when you sand a bowling ball. It's going to be five times. It's going to be four sides. It's going to be consistent water. And what you're going to notice is the bowling ball is going to go from a dull state to a polished state. While he's working on that ball, I'm going to show you something over here. So one of the keys that we talk about when it comes to pads is loading. This is a traditional 1500 grit true cut by CTD pad. You can tell there's no loading in this pad. That's because the dust has somewhere to go. In this case, it actually comes to the back of the pad. Now, new technology on the 3000 grit, it's actually a much tighter weave as you can see, but once again, there's still no loading. That's because when you get to the higher level grits, you don't necessarily have to worry about the loading issue. But you do want to be able to get a nice consistent cut. You do want to be able to get a nice consistent finish. And True Cut by CTD allows you to be able to do that. So the bowling ball is getting dried off here. We're going to go back out. You can tell immediately the bowling ball is shiny now. The ball actually has a reflection to it. It's definitely shiny. And that's good. It's also going to be uh, extremely tacky. So we're going to go right out here to the lanes. And we're going to... Check this bowling ball out. You can tell how shiny it is, which is one of the benefits. This ball has no polish on it, so it's it's shiny, but yet has no polish. Let's take a look at the performance of this bowling ball. We're going to throw two different shots. We're going to throw one on the inside and one on the outside the part of the lane, just so you can kind of see the performance of the P5000. shot bowling ball still makes an aggressive move as you can see down lane because there's nothing stopping the contact between the actual raw bowling ball and the dry part of the lane and that's a big difference between P5000D and a conventional polishing type bowling ball. You can see the bowling ball now what we're going to do is we're going to throw another shot, and this time I'm going to purposely miss left, so you can watch how the ball responds to punch. Much more aggressive, much more angle. That is what's really, really critical when you're looking for a bowling ball to create back in. You need a lot of friction, and because we're using the actual raw bowling ball, no polish, no compound, you're going to see way more back in performance from P5000D than you want conventional polish. We got one more thing we're going to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back in the shop. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to compare the P5000D pad to our favorite compound polish which is the storm step number two now i'm gonna explain a little bit about what this means go ahead and put some on the pad i'll let him begin to go ahead and go through the process but here's what i want you to know the step two it says it takes your bowling ball from 320 to 1500 grit that actually refers to the grit that's actually in the bottle the compound grit that's in the bottle it degrades from 320 to 1500 grit so that's not going to leave a 1500 grit finish on your bowling ball it's going to leave a finish on your bowling ball that's 5000 grit which is polished, it's the grit that's in the pad, that's or in the bottle that's actually gonna be 1500 when it's all said and done. Now, one of the cool things I wanted to show you also about the P5000D pad is also that loading effect, right? So we talked about, you know, at the higher grits, it uses a unique technology. You can kind of see it there, but there's no loading in the pad. And we're doing that on purpose because loading creates massive, massive problems. But during our testing and development, we found that we actually needed to use a different type of technology to get these pads to do the right thing and end up with the number that's on the pad being what ends up on the bowling ball. So that is a main, main difference. But there is a real, really interesting thing with polish. It doesn't matter whether it's this polish, which we like, or 
any other polish. There's a carrier. There's a liquid that actually makes the grit stay in suspension. And that has an impact on the performance. And up until now, you've had no choice. If you want to polish your ball, you got to have a grit, you got to have a compound, you got to have a polish, you got to have a carrier to be able to carry the polishing agent to the bowling ball. The bad part is that actually does interfere with the performance of the ball. So we're using the actual worst case scenario here. We're using what, what we consider to be one of the best polishes around. And we're going to actually show you exactly how it compares to that P5000D sanding pad from CTD. You can see the bowling ball looks nice and shiny, as it should. Now we're going to go back out and throw a couple more shots so you can see exactly what P5000D does. And like I said, it doesn't really matter. All polishes essentially have a carrier, something that allows the grit to stay in suspension, and that is gonna actually have an impact on the bowling ball. So I'm gonna now throw the bowling ball, and you're gonna throw two different shots. You're gonna be able to watch and see the performance motion that you're gonna get from P5000D compared to a traditional compound polish. because in the back end of the lane where the friction actually allowed to happen, the dry portion of the lane with the bowling ball, that bowling ball carrier is actually impeding the overall performance of the bowling ball. So now we're going to throw another shot. And this time I'm actually going to, I'm going to miss left so you can see the friction. miss and miss left, I'm actually going to bring it in a little bit because I want you really to get a good feel for the performance difference. There's a massive, massive change in performance when you have the bowling ball touching the lane or you have the polish touching the lane. And that's going to be one of the main benefits you're going to get out of the P5000D pad. What we didn't discuss about the P5000D pad is you can actually get a 4000 grit finish with this pad as long as you use it dry and you use it by hand. That will get you from 3000 grit, which is the base you're going to start at, to 4000 grit. Then when you want to get to that 5000 and polish it, you put it on a spinner, use a little water, and get the bone ball to be shined up. I'm going to miss in this more oil inside the lane. You can tell there's a big ball motion difference between standard polishing compounds and P5000D. P5000D True Cut will be available October 1st from ctdbowling.com. If you have more information, you have more questions, you want to know some more information about what we're doing, make sure you check us out on YouTube at Creating the Difference or my channel YouTube, Ronald Hicklin. Make sure you also check us out at our blogs that we do on the ctd.com webpage. CEO, Ronald Hicklin.